we present Viper, a volume-preserving rod model. In position-based dynamics, ropes are typically simulated as strings of particles connected by distance constraints. This model was extended to simulate twist by adding an orientation frame to each segment. The only degrees of freedom for position-based ropes are the particle positions. Cosserat rods can be simulated by adding orientation as a degree of freedom. But none of these models is made to stretch or be compressed as it results in variations of volume. We extend position-based rod models to be volume-preserving by adding scale as a new degree of freedom. This allows rods to locally scale to compensate for stretch or compression. In these comparisons, we demonstrate the effect of this new degree of freedom. As shown in this example, we transfer the deformations of our rods to surface meshes using linear blend skinning. We apply our model to muscle simulation. For this, we introduce an automatic method to convert surface meshes to bundles of fibres. The user only has to mark the start and end faces of the fibres. First, we compute the corresponding TET mesh. Then we compute a smooth scalar field and extract a few isosurfaces. We distribute the same number of particles on each surface and finally connect them while minimising the length of the fibres. We showcase the results of our method on a wide variety of human muscle models. We now demonstrate our method on a human arm model. To collide with the bones efficiently, we approximate them with tapered capsules using the same primitives which discretize the rods. This model contains 20 muscles discretized using 900 particles. At each frame, 20,000 constraints are optimized. This takes 16 milliseconds per frame in a simple GPU implementation. This will be improved in future work. We can also simulate muscle growth by simply increasing the target volume of fibres. Our method is applicable to soft body simulation, as in this octopus, modelled with our volume preserving rods. The same compact representation is used to perform collision detection and simulation. It provides a simple and efficient alternative to tetrahedral meshes in modelling volume-preserving deformations. We are able to simulate hundreds of octopi in real time. Please enjoy the rest of the video.